So check it out. It's not every day you get to see a $75 million super yacht just sitting in the harbor. So might as well get some footage and sea log too. <laughs> All right. So if you're thinking of buying the EOS R5 Mark II for videography, one of the main selling features on this camera is the fact that it has sea log too. This is the first hybrid camera that Canon has come out with that has sea log too. The previous R5 only had sea log one and three. And the thing that's really special about sea log two is that it has the most dynamic range. So you'll be able to bring back a lot of the details in the shadows and bring back a lot of the details in the highlights. Uh, before we get into the footage, let's look at the specs. These are the settings I was using. This is obviously the R5 Mark II. We're shooting in C-Log 2, 4K 24p, bitrate is 10-bit 422. And the footage is going to appear slightly blurry because I am shooting all of this footage with Digital Movie IS Enhanced turned on. So that's the... Canon kind of crops into the image and enhances the, the IS digitally. So it's digital stabilization and this is the enhanced version. And I also have lens IS enabled on the lens and the lens is going to be the RF 15 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 AL IS USM. So that's the lens for all the footage. And again, all this footage is handheld. And on the front of the lens, I have the Nisi uh, True Color VND filter and I really love the true color VND filter because it has it sort of takes all the footage You'll notice everything is kind of cool toned So the Nisi filter brings everything to about daylight balance So if you're shooting in the afternoon like I am here, it kind of brings everything to a blue Plus I also have my own C log 2 LUT that I created and I prefer cool tones over warm tones So everything is gonna look kind of bluish. So if you're wondering if that's the camera, that's not the camera That's me. This is my own personal style I prefer cool tones and I also like to shift my green tones more towards blue. So that's what you're looking at here with the sample footage. And let's just take a moment and admire this digital movie enhanced with lens IS. Like I'm in a car that's moving, it's shaking and the camera's bumping around and this footage looks really nice. It's pretty smooth. I mean, the sacrifice is, is that it's not quite as sharp as you would get without the digital movie IS enhanced. But I mean, if you're in a pinch and you need some stable footage and you don't have a gimbal, this is pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna leave you to the footage and I'll be back at the end of the video.
All right, so there it is. We have C-Log 2 on the R5 Mark II, and that footage was really nice. I really enjoyed that. It was a lot easier to grade than I thought it would be. And what I was super surprised about was the digital movie enhanced. So all the footage you just watched was all handheld, even the car ride, and that's all using the 15 to 35 with digital movie enhanced. And it's pretty stable. I mean, you sacrifice a little bit of sharpness and in the car ride, you notice like during shakes, everything got a little bit blurry just for a second. But if you're in a pinch and you don't have a gimbal and you need some steady footage, <laughs> that digital enhanced, uh, digital movie enhanced, <laughs> I don't know, Ken's naming convention is so weird. But yeah, it works out really good. So uh, yeah, so the next few videos on this channel are all gonna be about this camera, the EOS R5 Mark II. So if you wanna see those, definitely subscribe so you don't miss the videos. And again, if you have any questions about the camera or anything you want me to test, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll be happy to test that and put, the, put it in another video. All right, peace out. See you guys in the next one.